You may not think that gastronomy goes together with street food, but today it does, because we're going to the Taste of Paris 2022, where we have 80 chefs from the top star rated restaurants, right down to the young up and comers, and they have put together their best work in a street food format, and we're gonna go taste it. So, are you hungry? I am starving. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I am. It's right here, baby. Let's go. Our first stop was at the booth of Chef Gloria Cabet, which is a private independent chef specializing in Afro-vegan cuisine. Today we tried a cassava ball with cashew cream and it was absolutely delicious. She brings the experience from restaurants in London and Paris together with the flavors of Africa in a magical way. <laughs> Next, we went to the booth of Restaurant Le Dali, which is inside Le Meurice Hotel, which is one of the top palaces just across from the Tuileries. It's a farm to fork restaurant sourcing only local ingredients. While the restaurant is high end and quite expensive, today we tried Chef Amaury Beaur barbecue pork street food sandwich with cabbage slaw on a special bread, and it was awesome. We also stopped in this fascinating booth, which has smooth mild goat cheese, ginger spice arisa, and herb goat cheese, paired with an aged after dinner French whiskey and 40 month old Comté. This is products that are made in the Paris suburbs with ingredients sourced from around France. Both the cheese and the whiskey vendors have stores around Paris and there's the address in the description. Just go and check it out. Maybe you can pick up some picnic supplies there. Next, we went to the booth of L'Ecran Restaurant, which is inside the Hotel de Crillon, which is a luxury hotel on Place de la Concorde, just a block away from the U.S. Embassy. It's the kind of place where U.S. presidents and diplomats might dine. It will run you a pretty penny to eat in there. And it's home to Chef Mathieu Carlin and Boris Campaniella, who created and reimagined hummus and crispy chickpeas and a rhubarb and raspberry dessert for this year's Taste of Paris. And we tried the papa sauces, which were mm -mm good. Now we're at the restaurant Kai, which is about as good as it gets in Paris. This hot cuisine restaurant blends the finest of French foods with Japanese influence in a thoughtful, chic presentation. The price tag at this three-star Michelin restaurant, which is as high as you can get, but today we got to try three of Chef Ki Kobayashi's street food creations, a Wiyagi burger, Parmesan truffle gnocchi, and a salmon tartare with caviar and charcoal onions. And the only word I can think of is sublime. <laughs> we got to try vinegar made in the cognac region with the same kind of style and it was so smooth. Now we're at Jugad with Chef Manaj Sharma where we tried the pork vindaloo sandwich with pickled cabbage and spices from all over India and oh my god it was good. And for dessert, the San Shishi cream puffs at Bulit's Cantina were amazing. The salted caramel just, oh, you have to try it. Mm -hmm. 